I mean, it's, there's something very, very demeaning about it for these mm -hmm. women. Mm -hmm. um, and what is the broader message there? Is this what is this what women have to endure? So on TV shows like The Bachelor, we see women professing undying love to men that they barely even know. Is this even possible? Can you be in love with somebody you don't know? And how would someone like that even know if they were in love? Well, I think that those shows, the way they inject competition in there. So really, what we're dealing with here is, you know, a fantasy of a person, a fantasy of a guy or a woman. We're, this is not a real person. This is not a multi-dimensional, imperfect person. This is a prize, and we're all competing for the prize. So I think where love figures into that, is it possible? Yeah, Maybe. Yeah. But yeah, I think it is possible, actually. But I think the competition angle makes it much less likely, and there's something else there going but on. But I also think, I mean, there's yeah. a sense of sensory deprivation that's going on there. They're not allowed to use phones. They're not allowed to have any exposure to anything, any news, anything outside of what's going on in the bachelor shack. Right. So they're or in, or in the room. So probably right. your in the overnight like, room. Right. Your judgment <laughs> is probably really so, right. And you're drinking. Twenty. You're drinking 24/7, and, and, and you're not eating. Right. 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 Yeah. So no. Is it possible to fall? Well, wait a minute. <laughs> All right, let's not talk it about is, me. It is possible to fall in love on these shows. It is. Not every one of the however many contestants that they have are truly in love with him, especially not the ones that get kicked off in the first, second, third, and fourth week. For the majority, people blow it for themselves. You have a great looking guy or a great looking girl. Don't throw yourself. Be the one, Everyone else is throwing themselves at the guy. Make your plan something different. Mm -hmm. Be a little bit unavailable. If everyone is running toward him, be the one that stands afar because he's not going to look at the cattle herd running toward him. He's going to be like, <laughs> who's that one girl that doesn't want me? Well, right. I think there's also this element of, you know, obviously wanting this celebrity, this intention, this yeah. attention, you know, for, obviously from going on these shows. But there is something also disturbing about the way these women are publicly humiliating themselves to get the attention of this one man. And these rose ceremonies they have where these women are just shaking in anticipation of, you know, this man who is now the love of their lives, who they've known for, you know, six weeks. And that's not to say that people can't fall in love quickly. They can. but. It's hard to it's hard to understand how 20 women or whatever it is are going to all fall in love with the same man. And, and Abby, they're not even on for six weeks, most of them. Don't you think that that goes to the point that Jasmine was making before? So there's 20 women and there's one man. So what is that saying in a bigger, broader way? Mm -hmm. There's 20 women and there's one man. So got to fight. Yeah, that's like subliminal advertising. Yep. You know, you've got to compete. You've got to fight. You've got to lower your standards, and that's yeah. the message that comes across. And you've got to be humiliated on camera because that's good television. Right. Yeah. yeah. And you've got to, you know, you have to be in this very unattractive competition with other women. You've got to endure the fact that this man is either being intimate or even having sex with these other women every night that he's not with you. I mean, it's, there's something very, very demeaning about it for these mm -hmm. women. Mm -hmm. um, and what is the broader message there? Is this, what, is this what women have to endure because this is what we need to do to get a man. the man that we right. want? And right. it's a false and, sense of hope. Yeah. And in speaking to the competition, because I really think that's a big deal here, I, you know, in terms of when, I think so they have the bachelor, right? And then they have a bachelorette. I'd be more concerned as the bachelorette with respect to, Okay, I think guys as a rule kind of tend to be competitive, right? So they're all the projected fantasy of this woman. How is a bachelorette to really know that these really guys, I mean, is it really about her at that point or is it about, does it become this intense competition? Like, mm -hmm. just I think that's true for guys. both. I think that's yeah, true. It's absolutely yeah. true for both. It's absolutely true for both. I think that's true in life. It's absolutely true. I've actually seen that in life. When two women compete over yes, guys, two yeah. guys yeah. Can But it doesn't have anything to do with that person anymore. Right. That's the whole point. That's where it ties together to, you know what? Can you find in love? But can you find love on these shows? Yeah, I think you find maybe a lot more lust, and I think that it's kind of <laughs> set. I think it's kind of set up to go against finding love, though, when you have the whole competition angle being such a big integral part of it. So reality TV is just not something we're going to escape from. I imagine many of us will be paying attention to next year's Bachelor or Bachelorette show, and hopefully for some of these women, they actually come out on the end of that train wreck and actually find a healthy relationship. But boy, what a road they have oh, yeah. to go down. Mm.